Hey guys, I'm just doing a tutorial today on this hairstyle. It's just like nice beachy waves uh, for the summer, spring slash summer. So if you guys want to learn how to do this hairstyle, then keep watching. Okay, so I did half just so it'll be a lot quicker. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do this half. So what I did was I let my hair just air dry. So this is what my hair looks like when it's air dried. Um, and I sprayed a little bit of uh, sea salt spray. This one is Gosh Professionals. It's called Salt of Mine Wet and Dry Salt Water. So it looks like that. So I just kind of sprayed it all over my hair while my hair air dried. And you can see kind of how it's like still a little damp, not really. Um, I probably wait till it's not damp anymore just because we're going to be using this curling iron. So, um, yeah, my hair is pretty much dry, but it looks kind of wet just because of the sea salt spray. Um, but yeah, just spray a little bit more and kind of just play with your hair. You could leave it like that. It's a little bit messier. This is more of like a defined beach wave. But yeah, so I just start sectioning my hair. I just take a clip. And you just want to start with, um, you can take random pieces because if you take pieces that are all like the same size and it's going to look too, too overdone, like it doesn't look as natural. So I'm taking the 4-in-1 by Fahrenheit and I think this is a 1 inch and I have it at 340 Fahrenheit and you're just going to flip it upside down like diagonally and you're going to start a little bit farther down from your root and then you're going to curl it um, outwards and then you're going to leave a little bit of the end out so to see how I'm not putting it all the way in and this just gives you a more natural beachy uh, curl like that So it has like the ends a little bit straight. And then you just take another piece. You can alternate, like you can go a few of them, put them um, inwards. But most of mine are going out. Okay, and then this is a step that I do once I get around just above your ear. Um, I take, this is a Osis Dust It. It's just a volumizing powder. You probably have heard of these ones. Um, so yeah, it's just a volumizing powder and you can just put it in your hand. Just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Just a little bit. And then kind of work it in your fingers. And then go stick your fingers in the roots of your hair and just kind of rub it, your roots with it. And then take the ring off. And it really kind of looks messy right now because I haven't done the top. Curl the top yet. But just gives added volume. Like that. Without teasing. So you don't want to tease, it's a great idea for or uh, it's a great product to use. So I'm gonna finish the rest. And 
And I don't curl my front pieces very long, like I wrap them around for like literally two seconds and then I let them go because I don't like them really, like with this one I just wrapped it for like two seconds. I don't like them really curly. And then yeah, just keep going. And I just I brush my hair through with my fingers just to make sure there's no knots. Okay, and then you're just going to lightly spray your hair with hairspray. This is just Frizzy's Moisture Barrier. This one, it's by John Frieda. It's just, um, it's good for when it's like humid out and stuff like that and it's raining. It really protects your hair. So just lightly spray it just so it holds all day. And I kind of scrunch while I'm spraying it. So make sure your hair is cool when you do this. Otherwise, you'll get it really frizzy. And I'm just going to tease some areas just lightly. I already put the powder in, so you don't if you use this. You don't really need to tease it, but like I like to. Okay, so we're done everything now. This is what it looks like. So it's a little bit straight at the ends, not not too much. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, and it's great for obviously summer. That's why I'm doing it. Um, it's nice to go to the beach. It honestly doesn't take that long because you're just wrapping it around really quick and then letting it go. So you don't want it super curly. You just want waves. So um, yeah, this is just how to do it with a curling iron. You can obviously um, do it just with this stuff, the salt. You can just spray it and scrunch your hair, but my hair doesn't hold curl um, on its own just because of all like the straightening over the years and stuff. So, oh so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and see you later. Bye.